the Upper Delaware National Park Service, and the Zane Gray Society sponsored this exhibition game of vintage baseball, highlighting the rules from 1825, 1857, 1865, 1886, and 1895. Each of these years represents significant changes on how the game was played and represents over 70 years of 19th century baseball. In this game, the Mountain Athletic Club from Fleischmann's New York takes on the Polecats out of Delhi, New York. Although the national anthem was not performed at games until 1862, this event featured two of the Wallenpaupack area high school choir members singing the national anthem. And the home of the that in 1825 they played with two teams. We think that they may have played to 21, that they had an arrangement of stakes. They were not bases. The ball could be hit in any direction. There was no fair or foul. The fielding team is gonna try to prevent the batting team from scoring points by either catching the ball on one or two hops or on the fly, or soaking the runner. Soaking means hitting the, ba hitting the ball player with the ball. There was only eight fielders. Why? There was no shortstop, thank you. The shortstop was created at a later date because the ball we're using, smaller, lighter, doesn't throw as far. So the shortstop was created to create a short fielder to get relay throws from outfield. The teams adapted to the different rules of each time period as the game progressed throughout the 19th century during the afternoon. Now balls and strikes are called. Three balls to a walk. Three ball, three strikes for an out. Foul balls, not strikes. Now they decided it was rather unmanly to catch the ball on a hop. And that would continue until 1876. So now we're going to play the fly game. So this is where modern baseball starts to take shape. Balls caught on the fly are an out in fair territory. The pitcher does not get free, free delivery. He can no longer run up. He's got a box, uh, uh, two lines, uh, three feet deep, six feet wide. He's got to pitch from that center. Anywhere in that area, he can pitch right or left to the plate. So why do these volunteer players keep the game of vintage baseball alive? Uh, there are teams playing all over the country uh, in different rules, different styles. Um, and we, we play all over the place and we, we just we play it for the love of the game and to, you know, I say it's a little part theater, part history and part sport, you know, we're trying to do, it's a lot bigger than just baseball and it's a lot different than just, you know, your average baseball game these days. Look for more coverage of this event in a future episode. To learn more about the Mountain Athletic Club Vintage Baseball Team, go to MacVintageBaseball.org or you can find information about the Delhi Pocats on Facebook at Delhi VBBC.